So you can see the jig I've made with a couple of pieces of um, 90 degree uh, metal and that has nicely formed uh, a guide for my hacksaw and you can see on the very top of the chuck a mark and I've measured marks all the way around so that I can get the base position for seven individual blades and I'll turn that chuck, lock it in position for the seven cuts and when they go onto this um, piece of brass it's very clear how narrow they are and how close they are together. I'm doing the locking pin. You can see the texture where I've marked. Lock it and away we go. When you see it from this angle you realize how bad my sawing action is. It's got a rock in it. What this is going to mean is I'm going to have to ensure that these blades are flat at the base. I can't put a curve in them like I do with other propellers because this is just going to be too difficult to bring together otherwise. So there it is, and this is it machined down. Need to smooth that out. looking very nice. Lovely in fact. So I've now cut that off and I've also cut off an extra piece of collars. And now this is the uh, piece that I'm going to use for the seal housing that's going to fit through the end cap and I've got the um, step machined into the end of this that's going to uh, be soldered into the brass plate. That's looking very nice. So now I'm going to drill and thread to put a thread in the end of this. This had to be lined up very nicely of course. And I find with this, in putting a drill through here, the best thing to do is not to put a, a guide drill in first because it grabs, the brass grabs. And here I've got the um, tap in here. I'm just doing this manually. And I'm now going to cut this down to size. And in doing so, I'm also going to cut a little collet. Now, whether I use that or not is another question but that little collet can be used to screw up um, against the back of the prop. That's it. But that's the hub for the prop done. While I'm at it now, I'm building the, um, the piece that's going to join the prop shafts. That's a 5mm hole. And now this is the joyous part of putting a thread on the end of this stainless steel. And you can see here the way I do this is by moving my whole body around until this has got a bite. And once it's got a bite, I'm using, I've machined this down to 4mm as you can see. It's a 5mm shaft. But if I put that on further, all the way down, even if this thread is a little uneven to start with, by the time I get to the bottom, it's evened itself out. This is the easy part now. But stainless steel really um, is not easy to put a thread on. 
but at the end of this I should have a very nice piece of thread and there's a sort of a you can't see this very easily but there's a bit of a gap at some point on there and I'm going to trim that back just to fit the um, prop hub these are, the, these are the parts that I've now made that's the shell oh that's the piece that's going to fit the into the end of the hull that's the connector and this is the piece that's going to connect onto the motor so now 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 we've got our two pieces of brass I'm going to drill a hole right through the middle while they're joined together and I've had to mark which way round the brass fits and on which part so that I can easily replace it okay we've now on the lathe put a hole in that piece of brass and it's fitting onto the end of the uh, housing as you remember and onto this piece now I'm fitting the motor but in order to do this uh, these are the screws going into the motor that's been a fairly tricky process you can see I've had two goes at this took a little while to be successful um, now drilling holes in the end of the um, of the seal mounting and this is where the seal is going to go ah now we're <laughs> going from one to the other now I'm working on cutting these blades to size and I'm just using a consistent method before I cut these tongues off because they've all got to be exactly the same size of course using the Dremel to remove them Now I'm just putting a little um, edge, slight edge, onto that very mating end because I want it to slide nicely into the hub. So I'm testing it as I go with the hub. I want each of them to slot in and hold their position. This is tricky, I certainly don't want to overdo this. But I'm just getting the base of each blade now to be the same thickness as the hacksaw cut. So although I have a jig, that'll hold a seven blade prop. I'm hoping this is just all going to hold together and I can silver solder it as is. And there it is and I've got to tell you it looks absolutely stunning and all those blades are holding in position. You can see the aerofoil on the back, the front section's flat, but this is just gorgeous. So now is my chance to silver solder them, and I've got to put a lot of heat on that hub. After a while it gets a rosy glow, and you know you're there, and you can start silver soldering. Always ends up looking very messy after you silver solder something like this. So this is a bit of uh, brass rod with some flux on it only. Just going to get that hot enough so the flux runs. That's it. A bit more. Do each blade. Now I'm soldering it. Just a touch of solder on each one. 